Episode one. Blah, blah, blah. Previously on The Walking Dead. What's your name? I'm Clementine. You've been all by yourself through this. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. Did you have to kill those men? Yes. I hope you know what you're doing with her. Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are. Clementine, I, I think it'd be safer for you to stay here with Odie. Clementine! Clementine! <laughs> no. No. Bro, did I even do this? I actually don't think I'm here. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. Die! We I saw my parents. What the heck is this? I know. I'm being spoiled right now. To shoot me, honey. We... I'm not even here. <laughs> what the heck was that? Season select. For what? No, oh, okay. We're here. All right, I just um previously on the walking dead. Saw everything. I know who you are. I got another good one for you. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug. It's not when he enough. It. It's never it, enough. Boss. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. <laughs> give a shit about what happens to you but if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you <laughs> you watch your ass all right player didn't we kill him maybe i'm remembering somebody else died oh it was the freaking window guy i had to save him or the other person him or the girl What 
they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. Nah, I still, still a rabbit there. We went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Yeah, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. They're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Not enough. According to Lily, we've just about hit the last of our food reserves. Some people might have to go without tonight. You mean Lily's lottery again? Kenny's gonna be pissed. She the kids eat first? Have an equal chance of Except for Doug? Me. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are? Doug here? eats last. I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor end. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Kenny won't abandon us. He's a good man. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. He thinks I'm a danger to the group and Clementine. I think he's the one putting us in danger. The way Lily worries about his health. I wouldn't be surprised if she's been skimming rations for him. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. There's a nice bird we can eat right there. It's a long shot. I'd hate to waste the bullets. Trust me. If I don't think I can hit it, I won't shoot. Okay, buddy. Shit! Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! I don't trust this guy. He has horrible aim. He could get us killed. And why does he have the gun? Ah! Bear trap. That's a rip. Jesus Christ. Oh shit. No, no. Please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off. Get it off. God damn it. Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. Okay, this guy's not a cut. threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Please. Thank you, Kenny. Gotta help Thank you. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. We gotta get him out of there. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please, hurry. Please. Can you need to shut up before he lures more zombies? Rip your tactics, Frank. Can you get a better camera? What do you mean? My camera's the best. Okay, buddy, shut up. Oh, 
out of your freaking leg. <laughs> I'm sorry, player. Woo! There's one. There's two. Damn, no clean cut, huh? What do you miss when you hit a different spot? And then you gotta start all over. Now he's gonna die from blood loss. He's alive. Grab him and let's go. Okay, maybe the guy with the gun shouldn't grab him. I wouldn't say it's really tough. It's light. Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! Okay, Travis can die. I mean, we could have saved him. There's only like. What, 10 zombies? What, so it was either, either save Travis or save Ben? I mean, or save the other guy? Marry a zombie. Why in the fuck would I do that? I bet some of them. There's not enough food for more people. Wah, wah. I wonder who it's gonna be. I freaking wonder. That's you can't nasty. just be bringing you people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group right here, right now. Okay, well, Shane. Hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine. You guys fight it out then. <laughs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. But, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you the you're best. the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on. You're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not going to be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around. But now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens no, next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. 
I'm on Kenny's side, always. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. We need Daryl. Girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Okay, buddy. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? When does this guy die? He looks like he's from Texas. You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food, but nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. You only have four food items for 10 hungry people. God dang. They're all hungry, like everyone. gonna be okay I don't know can you give me a hand real quick sure what do you need just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up you know I thought I was starting to get used to this sewing up people's injuries but I mean cuts and bruises are one thing but wait this man has no leg I did the right thing okay I need to yeah, sometimes yeah. pressure one two three and four Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. I feel like she deserves food, you know? Okay. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Clementine gets food. Don't care. She's my daughter. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Okay, a Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. No, you need protein. Have any more food? Duck is hungry too. Yeah, why don't we not get some food? Okay, duck gets no food at all. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. So who are you people? Our group's gonna want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... when everything happened. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, um... Uh, I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know something you're not him he'll be prepared next time next time yeah relax we'll get your friend back to normal in no time i sure hope so how you doing duck i'm okay me and clementine are coloring guess what it is I don't know. A dog? Nope. Oh, I know. It's a goat, right? No. You were pretty brave when we brought those people in here. That's because I know Mom can fix him. Catch you later, Duck. Bye, Lee. Maybe Duck isn't so bad. Okay, I did not go there. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? 
Yeah. Lily has me handing out the food. Ooh, that can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food, even though the guy can be a little dick sometimes. On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you, if he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food, too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, Carly. Hmm. Back in a bit. Maybe Carly gets food. Kenny definitely gets food. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. The coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. Want something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Uh, no. Come talk to me once my boy's taken care of. Okay, buddy. Ha. Uh. <laughs> That's a tough one. That is a you tough. Hold the damn board steady. I'm trying. I I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got sixty cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. I was gonna give him food because of what the other lady said, but maybe I shouldn't. It keeps the walkers out. Carly's been doing the bulk of the lookout duty. Stop this guy. Here, eat some. What? Sorry. Okay, that was close. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Why is he say it like that? Which one's Mark and which one's Larry? Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on, Larry, give it a rest. I'm sure Lee is getting pretty sick of you thinking he's a danger to the group. Is that what you told me? Yeah, that's right, Claire. That's right. And what are you gonna do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. No food for him. Where's Carly? Oh, what is this? At least the kids have something to keep them occupied. Where is Carly? Oh, she's up. What the freak? We should talk about you and Kenny. What about us? The arguing. It's getting pretty out of hand. You know people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, we'll just have to find some. Maybe we should think about leaving the motel. God, not you too. I know Kenny wants to leave. I think that's why he's so eager to get the RV working. But this is a good spot. 
we're protected, we're close to the drugstore, we have a routine now and it's working. For now. Here. I don't want anything from you. I tried. I freaking tried. He doesn't get any second chances with me. Ah, okay. I like she should get the food. Doug? I mean, Kenny? You would have gotten food, but you were a cuck. Hey, Even though you're the best. How about a little food? I'm so hungry. Okay, maybe she should get food. I want her to get food, Carly. She's the best. Let's see. Let's see if she's gonna be cooked. Wait, what? There's more. I don't want anything from you. Okay, she is still angry. So I'm guessing I'd have to give it. <sighs> okay, I'll try to be on both their sides. Hmm. Actually, what about this guy? This guy didn't do anything wrong, Mark. Okay, Carly gets food, don't care. Want something to eat? Have an apple, Carly. God, I used to eat an apple every morning with some granola and six almonds, and that wasn't enough even then. But you know what? Yes. Oh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. I guess I'll get the cup some food. I know he's gonna say something rude too. Here, Larry. Lily would want you to keep your strength up. I should shove this up your ass when I'm too hungry. I knew it. Oh man. Just seeing the food is driving me. Ah, oh, now I feel bad. I feel bad now. Not such an easy job, is it? Oh, damn. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. Kenny, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice. But you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. Oh, Kenny's the best. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. Damn. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... <laughs> sick of this shit, dude. Let him go, Katja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. He's kind of food. He's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? What the freak? Choo, 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 choo. Nope, he's not dying. She's not dying. He... Fucker. No, freaking keep getting hit over there. Bro, this is why you didn't get food. This motherfucker missed his shot earlier. 
Use S. Me back. What? <laughs> That's some BF. Okay, buddy. Bro. Fuck back. Go, 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 go. Holy crap. You okay? Yeah. Thanks. I told you so, face. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, I knew it. You're gonna get us all killed. Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word. But he wasn't bitten, I swear. Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife. What? Wait, you all don't know? Oh, yeah, they don't know about the air thing in The Walking Dead. It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. Everyone? I I guess so. I don't know. I all I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girl's <coughs> room the next morning and God. Back off! Fuck are they? Whoa, lady, relax. They look like cucks. Me and my brother, we we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. Are you armed? Yeah, for protection. The dead could be anywhere. But uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? To leave, is protected by an electric fence. Aren't they the Raiders? They could be the Raiders. Electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of... They trade. don't seem trustworthy. How y'all doing on food? Anyone with those haircuts? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. Okay, Carly. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. They really don't look trustworthy. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine might know. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I lied to her, but... What exactly did happen with the senator? Whatever they could get their hands on. I still call it love on the bus. Somehow, I ended up getting locked You know what happened. I only know what the press was told. I don't know your story. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. Yes, it does. I, uh, I really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? 
Where are you from? I'm a murderer. I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Jolly. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? Lily. <laughs> Runs a pretty tight ship. Her and her dad are ex-military. Yeah, she knows her shit, but she needs to know when to back off sometimes. How many people you got over there anyway? Why are they asking so much questions? Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. Getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out. They are there. definitely not trustworthy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. My yeah, they, they're the not trustworthy. Well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shoot me down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Those pulling the chip. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who Calm raided down. my You're camp. Paranoid fits in who are they? Shh. Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry, you and you guys were keeping it all to yourself. Oh no. There's yeah, and you know what? More. We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out. And hope they move on. Fuck you. God damn. He's wasting bullets in a zombie apocalypse Asshole. and causing noise. The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Not gonna switch his body. Okay. St. John Family Dairy. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts with that thing. Generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. any accidents nah it's safer here than out there this place looks untouched you never know the rest of the world is in ruins it's worth protecting hence all the juice i thought i saw y'all with company come <coughs> down the drive guys this is our mama i'm brenda st john and welcome to the st john dairy this here's lee he's from macon a couple of our old farm hands were from macon <coughs> they grow them good there they got a few more friends staying at the old motel Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead you? They don't seem trustworthy. Lily, it's tough as nails and keeps us focused on what it takes to survive. Lily was in the military, like me. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Thanks for having us. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. Oh, okay, pretty. A vet? Oh my, our prayers have been answered. Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Well, how about this? Okay. Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Again? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? 
Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our family. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. Too incredible. Fence? Man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as their tourists. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right. I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Annie. St. John. I'll talk to you real quick. See if you have to save before I continue on. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. He's watching us back there. Posted. There's something over here. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. When was the last time it got any use? Mm, been quite a while. I don't exactly have a lot of kids visiting anymore. I look forward to the day when kids can just be kids again. Amen to that. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for I should act out of the bird. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. I'm gonna need some rope. And there's got to be a board around here I can use as a seat. Yeah, my axe. Just in case something goes wrong. Hmm. Pointy. Pointy, huh? Hmm. Pointy. Okay. This is too big right now, but if I can find something to cut it down to size, this might make a good seat for the swing. About my ex, or the saw. Hmm. Saw's much better. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. I hate that word. like the fence runs around the entire property, not just the house. Touch it. Yep. Can't take any chances when it comes to safety. Okay, we also need rope. This dairy won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? This place was my daddy's life. It meant everything to him. You know, when he first bought this place, it was a single-story house. Is that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. He said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. <laughs> Mama, she was done after Dan. My folks stopped after two as well. Then one day, the world changed. Now this place is all we have left for daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. Why are you guys the only ones here? 
You gotta be smart during an apocalypse. Mm, fresh herbs. I can hardly wait for dinner. This rope is perfect for the swing. How about we check inside first? Actually, let's build the swing. <clears throat> then we go inside. Right. This shouldn't be too tough. Mama's gonna be thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up. Hopefully our kids will like it too. Did you say something, darling? Oh my goodness. Did you do that? Just trying to help out a bit around here. You know, I used to push Andy and his brother out here on that swing every night when they were kids. Seems like such a long time ago now. Yeah, it does. All fixed. That should make everyone happy. All right, let's go inside. For you, sweetie. I'm gonna so help you just anything around the house. Go inside. With Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. Your family's done an amazing job of keeping this place up. <laughs> well, now aren't you sweet? Thank you, Lee. The boys and I have tried to adapt as best we can, but we still keep some of our old routines to help remind us of better times. What happened to the rest of your staff? Oh, we've had our share of tragedy here, just like everyone else, I'm sure. Some of our staff took off to find their families soon as they heard the news. The few that stuck around, well, we lost most of them the first night those things showed up here. It was horrible. Night. How many rooms does this house have? We gotta ask all the questions. Why do you ask? It looks custom built. Nice of you to notice. My husband put a lot of work into this old house. Well, he did a fantastic job. I believe in making a house a home. When will dinner be ready? It'll be a while still, but it'll be worth it. Trust me. How's your family been holding up since, uh, you know? All my boys have been my saving grace. They both left their jobs and came home to help out after the attack started happening. I think it was hardest on Andy. Dan was always more of a mama's boy. But don't tell him I said that. <laughs> well, if anything comes up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. All right. Let's move on with the story. Let's talk to our guy. The fence is no joke, at least around the house. I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of it. I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. Oh, what's this? Hey, uh, what are you fixing to do around the barn? How secure is your barn? Having a safe place for the cow is pretty important. Thanks to the fence, nothing gets in here anymore. Unfortunately, the daddies took most of our cattle before we got it running. Mind if I take a look? 
Sure, but uh, why don't we do that after we tend to the perimeter? Sounds good. Okay. Suspicious. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? Yeah. If anyone tries to fuck with us, they'll regret it. Well, protecting your people is important, but in my experience, having that many guns around is when people get dangerous. We can't be the first people you invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Mm. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Suspicious. Walkers. <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generator. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots. And we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Like us. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. Never know. Isn't this like the second farm we've been to? So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but... Let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides <coughs> Larry. What's up with you telling him what I said about him thinking I'm dangerous? Look, you said it. You even admitted it right to him. I try to be civil at least. He's too busy being cranky to notice. There's one. <laughs> Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. That's nasty. Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Maybe the St. John boys are using this guy for target practice? Uh, poor guy. I don't know what got him first, the arrow or the fence. Either way, hope he was already dead. Who do you think he was? Maybe a farmhand. I don't know. I hope he wasn't like this long before the fence finished him off. Yeah. Looks like he's stuck. Motherfucker, you better push. Looks like he's stuck. How? Okay, that makes sense. Come on, I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine having uh. to stop and walk this anymore? The fortress needs people to defend it. We've got enough people. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. This one alive? Damn. Man, the 
sense burnt right into his hands. I think they fused together. Man, the fence burnt right into his hands. I think they fused together. All right. I get it. <laughs> you never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. We'll go ask for more to eat after this is done. All right. I can suck it up. Come on. I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> okay, this guy better not die. If you're waiting for that guy to help, it ain't gonna happen. Come on. Little help here, Lee? <laughs> Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Oh! What the? Get to the gate. Not my guy. Get down. You asshole, Jesus. We had an agreement. Now you're fucked. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? With the fence on that gate, it's our only way out. Can't hide forever. I see him. It ain't right. We had a deal. Get out of the open. Holy crap. You didn't deliver the good. Now we're gonna take what's ours. Did you really think you could fuck with us? I'll fuck you strong bitches up. Get closer. I already got one of you. What are we supposed to be doing here? What about all the I got you now. Okay. Guessing we're supposed to still fight. Behind the tractor. Shit. Did you really think you were stuck with us down? Okay. Get closer, y'all, boy. Quick, he'll see you. I already got one of you. What the heck is blocking it? I can do this all day. Ah, there we go. Give us the Come on. If we can reach the gate, you we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah, they're on the move. Shit, that hurts. You got lucky that time. Behind the tractor. Okay, their aim is horrible. This guy, the other guy is like not even behind the tractor. Oh, the stupid body. What happened? Oh, shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to leave. I can't see you. Gotta lure me to the open. You give us the food. Where do you think you're going? Bro, another one? Oh, okay. How many of those things did we push down? Two. Oh, uh, what? Oh, the... Did you really think you fuck with us? <laughs> Damn. You okay? Yeah. Come on. The gate's right there. Oh! Oh, shoot. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. 
<laughs> okay, that's some BS. Where's our food, you asshole? Another one? How many of those things did we push down? Show yourself! Keep going. Come on. The gate's right there. Bro, the zombies freaking chasing us too. Show you get down. Get in front of you. Oh, thank you. They're getting away. Let's get out of here. Over there. You lucky sons of bitches. Go ahead and run. We ain't going nowhere. Man. Ambush out there. Holy shit, are, are you okay? The bandits here on our property? Oh my lord, what happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama? Yeah, I'll be all right once it's out. God damn, it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark, why are they here so god, early? What happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey, come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We Why ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. What you knew about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. Maybe it isn't as safe here as we thought. Look, we're sorry. We, we never had them screw with us like this. Not since we started giving them food. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Okay, so we're just gonna go kill people? That's fine with me. Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. <laughs> Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. <laughs> hey, kids, look what Lee got working for you. A swing! Motherfucker, hey, there's bandits swings. outside. Like at my tree house. They cannot oh sit out here and swing. Where are we going? I, I trust Kenny with kids. Where, where are we going? Okay. Hey, Haley, found anything interesting? I'm just trying to make sure this place is secure. In case we decide to make this a more long-term solution. Except for those people in the woods. Seems pretty safe. Good to know. Keep your ears open for anything else that might help us. I guess, uh, Lily isn't too thrilled about being here? I could give two shits about what Lily wants. Duck and Katja need food. And I'm not about to sit around that motor inn and watch them go hungry. You're with me on this, right? 
Yeah, of course. Lily's judgment is clouded, but you got a pretty clear head about these things. Did Duck and Katja get here okay? No, it wasn't easy. Duck didn't look so good on the walk over to this place. Well, if everything works out, maybe he and Katja can have an easier life here. I hope you're right. Duck and Clementine deserve a better life than starving to death at some crappy motel. How you holding up? I hope they feed us, Lee. Soon. On the way over here, I was getting dizzy. Hands shaking, cold sweats. Thought I was gonna pass out. They've got food here. Yeah, but I'm not just talking about one meal, you know? I'm gonna go have a look around. Don't wait too long to help scope out that bandit camp. It'd be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about the St. John's and their relationship with those bandits or whatever. That's yeah, true. Right. Let's see what I can find out. Where's Clementine? Doug, if you hit me, I swear to Why isn't Clementine on the swing? Hey, Clem, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Thanks for fixing it. You're welcome. Will you push me on it? Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? Yeah. All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Always take care of Clementine. It's the number one goal. It's Clementine and Kenny. How you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. And oh, Carla. Okay? Yeah. Or Carly, whatever her name is. Worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? Got lucky out there. Could have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Man, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck. So don't worry. Okay. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? I'm not sure, Clem. I hope so. I hope so, too. All right, Clem. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck, don't pop a gasket. Can't lie and say we're safe here. There's freaking bandits out there. They're storing gasoline all over the property. Gas keeps the generators going, and the generators keep the fence going. That thing keeps the fence electrified. I guess Mark and I were lucky we weren't touching this thing when it came on. Why did it come on? Hmm. Wait. Let's go in, see what everybody else has to say. Maybe we're going hunting. Why are there? Fellas, that guy's eyes is. How you feeling? Just... Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Law mount up. Oh, I should have stretched before streaming. Hell yeah. <laughs> Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. <laughs> so are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Let's go. Yeah. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. No, Clement. Time. Are you going now? Yeah, I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. He's so sweet. Uh. See anything? 
Not yet. I know it's around here. It's got him. Oh, okay. Be close. There we go. Found it. Oh, my eyes are getting watery. <laughs> Who are we killing? Sneak up to the camp. Why do I still have no gun? Oh, I see anybody. I Stay on your guard. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. <laughs> it's empty. Too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Save lots. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these recently. Just water. Nothing. Wow, they have nothing. Well, they probably wouldn't leave their stuff. Empty. Looks like they expected to be here a while. There's something in there. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Not unless you need a bunch of empty cans. <laughs> I'll pass. What's this is from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. What do you find? Nothing. Video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if huh? find anything useful and then get a move on. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, right. You did say she was running things for you. Sounds like you picked a good leader. Hmm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. Let's check the tent. Like a kid was here. The hell? Don't you fucking move. It's Clementine's hat. Put your right? guns down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. 
Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with Bamp. I ain't Bamp. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We had a deal. You people broke it first. Why are you alone up here? What happened to you? Well, that's a hell of a question, mister. They told me I'd be <laughs> safe with them. Men who lived here. But it weren't safe. Not for me. And not for my girls. They didn't treat her nice. Not at all. Damn. They took her away into the woods. Wouldn't tell me where. And I begged them every way I could think. They just laughed. <laughs> so I killed them. And I'm staying here till she comes back to me. One way or another. She'll come back. Now maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You have a crossbow. I, I won't kill you. I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice soft arrow right through and your it's eyeball. And into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? A little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her from me. What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, Damn. right through. <laughs> String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Put down the crossbow. No, sir, I need it. I need it to kill you fuckers. <laughs> Go on. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind. Oh. Damn. God damn it. You straight up murdered that woman. Hardly. She had a crossbow pointed at my forehead. It's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Oh, okay, Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. I mean, what did she think was going to happen? She brought a crossbow to a gunfight. 2v1. Gunfight. Man, that was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on Maria. Not after what they did to your friend. You're back. What happened? Handled it, Mama. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. going on with them don't know squabbling looks like a lot of tension with y'all huh yeah you could say that they don't exactly see eye to eye on how we should be doing things well it's probably just the hunger talking and lee don't worry your head about them bandits I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before she you... She sounds like a witch. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver.
Go get Clementine her hat. Yes. how to fix this if something goes wrong. I'm clueless about this stuff. Okay, we need batteries for the camera. Actually, what's in this box? It's a small toolbox. Use this thing for household repairs. A multi tool that should be handy. And it's uh, we can take it. We're just gonna borrow this for a second. <laughs> for a second. Let's go talk to the geezer. Anything over here, actually? Of hay. Hmm. Enough of these might work as adequate cover from arrows if that becomes a problem. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Sup, Blaze? I was looking sad over here for. Hey, so what happened at the camp? Did you guys find any more of those guys that hurt Mark? We found a tent and some boxes. Nothing really useful. Seriously? No food? Jesus. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. But you told him to mind his own goddamn business, right? We are guests here. We don't need to be overstaying our welcome more than we already are. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. Does he treat you like that, too? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... he's got a lot of pain. Same. He's been through so much, and lost pretty much everything. Don't and tip me with a good time. Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. <coughs> and me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably going to keep treating me like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. Maybe you should love someone else. Did you get the feeling something's going on here? What makes you say that? What exactly happened at the camp? Uh, it's nothing. Uh, don't worry about it. Okay, buddy. I would have told them. I know what you mean. These backwoods people always give me the creeps. If you ask me, we should just get our dinner and leave. Come on now. We don't want to be rude. I'm going to go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, and we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. Shut up. I'd say that I won that interaction. I defended myself pretty well there. Hmm. The heck is that? <clears throat> Having a crop like that on hand 
must be grit. We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. Are you some nothing? Poor cow. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. Whoa. Katja says Mabel could have a baby tonight. Oh, she's we'll preggo. Clementine. What's this thing? Danny said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. Okay, buddy. Looks like a bunch of old dirty clothes. Ooh, smells pretty foul. Nothing in there. It's a feeding trough. Just some fence posts. Sit. Okay, we had the camera for a reason. Empty. Oh, okay, so close to your mom for now. Okay. I want to play in the hay. Oh, okay, buddy. Just stay close to your mom for now. Okay. Last time you played Doug, you killed somebody. Remember that? Absolutely nothing in here. Okay. okay let's give Kelman time. Actually, let's talk to Andy. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. Let's give Kelman time to head first, actually. Thanks. Yep. Here, Kelman time. Find it? You said you would. Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? I'd like to someday. Maybe a little girl like you. That's nice. You'd be a good daddy. Well, Clementine is my daughter. Cat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. She looks skinny. How do you like that cow, Clem? She's pretty. Okay, I meant to talk to the other lady. Hey, can I talk to her? Hey there, Andy. Yeah. How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. <laughs> we 
met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. Um, Suspicious. What do you think, uh, we might eat. Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. Thanks. Yep. Let's get out of here then. Clearly nothing. Actually, no. Right here. You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something, and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Lose your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Hey, Lee. You know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? Well, you're, you know, urban. Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Okay, buddy. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have her peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds so we need a screwdriver. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Just checking out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. Just don't roam around without me or Danny. The farm can be a dangerous place. You know, the bandits and all. Sorry about your friends. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, Mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Suspicious. Hey, guys, seriously, don't fuck around with that. Come on, enough already. Check him, huh? Up something I think could help with the lock. All right, good to hear. Any thoughts on how to distract Andy? I don't know, man. Let's look for something outside of the barn. We need him out of here. Okay. So, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, that is nasty. It's fine. Plus, I had my boys get that bad. I couldn't do it without them. Look at Gazebo. Wait. Doesn't offer much in the way of protection, though. Wait. Doesn't offer much in the way of protection, though. What's going on, Lee? Did something happen? Kenny thinks they're hiding something. 
I'm not sure what exactly, but we're starting to get a feeling about this place. I don't know. Maybe we should go have a look in that bar. Whatever you do, just be careful. After what Kenny told me, I'm starting to think they may be trying to hide something. You two are just asking for trouble. But if you insist on wandering around, I'd be careful, Lee. I'm gonna go check things out. Watch yourself, Lee. Oh, she's getting nicer. That's sweet. Where's Carla? Oh, wait, never mind. They stayed. how to fix this if something goes wrong. I'm clueless about this stuff. It's my distraction. Power switch. Access panel. I guess I'm gonna need a screwdriver for this. There you go. <clears throat> that thing is all too tight for my bare hands. Okay. There, that should do it. Hell out of here. Hurry up. Oh, that loud door. Let me close the door. Come on, Kenny. Up something I think could help with the lock. Nothing to stop you now. Mom, Dad, dinner time! It's dinner time! Okay, honey, let's get that. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing off. Okay, let's do this. Screws holding it to the door. If I can remove them, I don't even need to deal with the lock. Okay, let's do that. No! Screws holding it to the door. If I can remove them, I don't even need to deal with the lock. There we go. Just one screw. Like in the butcher here. Didn't you hear the bell? Dinner time. What the hell you got in that back room? Look, we have food here, but Danny and I still got to do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed. When we catch something in the woods, we skin it and dress it back there. Mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house. So you see, nothing to worry about. Hmm. 
Oh, Brenda, Biscuit? you wow. are an angel. Oh, Excuse boy. us, we had to block the back door after Walker got upstairs. Don't worry, that was a while ago, and I ain't been back inside since. Everybody sit down, now go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I could eat a horse. Where's Mom? Now don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Yeah, where is Mark? I wash my hands first. Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. Look at scratches. Walkers aren't getting through that thing. Oh, we are going upstairs. Was the other son there? Look at this creaky floor. Keep going. Blood. Blood? It's freaking blood. Farm books, cookbooks. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Where the hell is Mark? I thought Brenda said he was up here resting. Where is Mark? So much morphine for morphine candles. Smart. Musty as hell. I guess someone needed some first aid recently. Yeah, Mark. Right? Ugh, what is this stuff? Looks like a bunch of medical waste in here. IV tubes, saline. What would dairy farmers need with this kind of stuff? Oh, what is that cord going? This stuff. I thought I was going to be the move to trash can. IV tube, saline. What would dairy farmers need with this kind of stuff? Farm ah. books, cookbooks. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Push this, huh? Ah, that's Mark, isn't it? What? Please. They're cannibals, aren't they? They're freaking cannibals. What the hell happened to your legs, man? Don't eat dinner. They're freaking cannibals. Clementine. Clementine better not eat that crap. You better run. It's all people in here. Sit down, you're so hot and cold. Lee, Jesus, man. Did you Why? Ah, oh, sit your ass down, Lee. This lady has made you a meal. Yeah, Lee, what's gotten into you? He just had a start. He could use some goddamn manners. You're eating human meat. That's crazy.
crazy. What the hell? Ridiculous. Okay. Ah, scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge him, Lily. It's always something with this guy. Mom, I was eating that. What is going on? We need to get the kids and everyone out of here. We need to go now. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. Settle down, honey. Oh no, Clementine. You're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boss. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. You're all sick. Sick in the head. Lee, that's not a very nice thing to imply. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. Like y'all. Clementine, run! Nobody's going anywhere. We got lots of use for y'all. Oh, okay. I knew they were. Put your guns down. I'm just worthy. Walking out of here. here my I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? Everyone, everything will be okay. Lee? Lee? Oh, no, not Clementine. Oh, okay, he has to die. Let go of her, you son of a bitch! Is it the he's crawling, isn't he? He's freaking crawling. a way out of here. I'm worried about Clementine. Could there be a hole behind these pallets? No such luck. Please settle down. I'll rip their goddamn Shelves are pretty sturdy. We could swell. climb up. Uh, but there's no way out through the ceiling. Don't give up. Help. We're gonna find a way out of here. Can I help? Sure, honey. You keep your eyes open for exposed screws or loose panels. Anything we can pry away to open a passage out of here. Okay. They're not gonna open the door! You, you think a bucket apocalypse gives you the right to chop mm. people into meat? I'll, I'll break that damn door down! Dad, you can't get... Uh, 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 easy! Uh, uh, Thank goodness. No. Dad, come on. Dad! Oh, God. He stopped breathing. I think he's had a heart attack. Shit. Is he dead? He's not dead. Somebody help me. Fuck. If he's dead... He's not dead. You know what has to happen, Lee. Think about it. You saw that poor bastard at the motel? How fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. 
but in a few minutes, we're going to be stuck in a locked room with a six foot four, 300 pound, seriously pissed off dead guy. Fuck you! We can bring him back! Lee! We'll mourn him later, but right now we have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny! He is not dead! Lily can still save him. I wish she could. Believe me, I do. But that man is dead. You both know what happens next. Look, Kenny, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on, we know this guy's not going to make it. Can we? Remember what Ben said. Got to destroy the brain. Come on, Lee. You can't be in the middle on this one. You got to have my back this time. God damn it, Lee. I need you. Please help me. Ah. They're going to make me decide. Come on. Wake up. Wake up. Screw Lily. Right, Kenny. Let's get this you over. fucking monsters! Both of you! I don't want to see. I'm sorry, Lily. No, no, no! The only way. <laughs> get off me! Damn, maybe I made the wrong choice. Freak. Oh my god, Kenny! Oh my Jesus! <laughs> what is Kenny about to do? Oh! I couldn't risk it. What if I let him live and Kenny died? I'm sorry. I Don't know. you fucking touch me! Clementine. He wasn't dead. I'm sorry. We couldn't take that chance. You understand why we had to do this, Clementine. So he won't turn into one of those monsters? That's right. <laughs> I know. I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else. Something hopeful. Like what? Someplace safe where no monsters can get you. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on it. See how she's doing? <laughs> Lily, I'm, I'm sorry. Don't talk to me, Lily. Don't fucking talk to me. You've got to pull yourself together, Lily. Why? For your sake? So you can feel better about about what you did for your own sake right because you fucking care so much about me all right we tried there ought to be an air duct behind this unit maybe big enough for one of us to fit through i don't know lee seems like a long shot does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws. The multi-tool. Of course they took it. Shit. Maybe there's something else we could use. I've got a rock. Ah, a rock won't help. But a coin might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Uh-uh. If we can remove these screws, the AC should come down easily. Not coming off that way. Get away. I just need to. I told you to get the fuck away. God damn. You, uh, you think maybe we were too hasty? Only one important thing right now. Getting the fuck out of here. We did what we had to. If the duck behind the air conditioner is big enough, we might have found our way out of here. Yeah? But I need something to loosen the screws. I got nothing. Shit. Hang tight. Maybe I can scrounge something.
Absolutely nothing to scrounge. She's still angry. Why can't you just leave me alone? I'm sorry, Renee. But if we're gonna get out of here, we need your help. And Larry's. I think I may have found a way out of here. But I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver, a coin or something. No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but uh, back at the motor inn, Larry, Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. In other words, my father's more useful to you dead than alive. If he was alive and had the key to getting us out of here, do you think he'd keep it to himself? What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Your permission. Do what you have to do. God dang. Oh boy. Uh, any idea which pocket he keeps his change in? Okay, buddy. Fucking vulture. Start the back pocket. Huh. He still carried his wallet. A ring. My mother's. Don't worry, I'm not taking it. Oh, it was the last pocket Here I picked up. Two quarters and a dime. Yeah, one more should do it. Damn. I feel bad now. Well, there's our way out, Lee. Clementine can fit through. Looks like it'll probably lead right into that back room. Brave enough. I'm scared. Remember the treehouse? You held out for days. And I saved your life. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay. You're gonna be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. Damn, I want to know what would have happened if we tried to save him. Ah, maybe that's what the bear trap was for. I told you there was something up with this room. It's a goddamn human slaughterhouse.
God, what's wrong with these people? Maybe I shouldn't have sent Clementine through there. This room would give anybody nightmares. Okay. Jesus, this is where they butcher people. So what's the plan? That dumbass is so caught up in his own rant that we could probably sneak right up on him. Just stick behind me in case anything goes down. When we get to the front, grab his gun. Sounds good. Okay, you ready? Yeah, let's go. Stay close. Outside the barn. Oh shit! Just guarding the place, like you said. Keep heading out in the rain like the damn deer. Mama says we can't keep that many folks alive and not expect trouble. Take one to keep and kill the rest. Not the kid. We must meet on the trail. Oh, I know, Major. This is my favorite part. Focus. Where's Danny? When I let one think they can just walk right out, <laughs> they never even see where he is now. Any? <laughs> yeah, what now? Where's my family, asshole? You can't have them. We need the vet. No! Can't! Lee, come on! Just go. I won't be far behind. Can I punch him multiple times? can live. Cannibalism is not the answer. Aren't the walkers eating enough of us? You gotta keep me alive. If you kill me, the meat gets tainted. You can't eat it. You're already tainted. You ain't gonna kill me. Just like you didn't kill Jolene. Get the fuck up. Motherfucker. <laughs> Come this time, witness what you did. God, no! Katja! Just go. I'll keep Clementine safe. We had to, Clementine. All cannibals die. Zombies. Oh, who the heck is that? Is that Kenny? Oh, it's her. Carly. Lee? Ow. Shh. Lee and, I mean, Carly and Ben. They attacked us. I knew it. I told you we couldn't trust them. Shit. How many of 
them are there? Two left. Where? Larry's dead. They chopped off Mark's legs and tried to feed them to us. Shit. Is everyone else okay? They've still got Duck and Katja in the house. And I don't know where the fuck Kenny is. All right. We're coming in to help. The main gate is too dangerous. Go around the fence and see if there's a back way in. I'll keep looking for Kenny. Do you have a weapon? I don't leave home without it. Then stick close. And Lee, be careful. All right. Hopefully no one else dies this episode. All we have is coins. That's it. She saw through my life. Why the heck would I open the door? I mean, that makes sense. Wait, wait, don't you take another step. Brent, come on now, you know you don't want to do this. Just go away and leave us be. heck did we do? Stop right there, I mean it. Think about what you do. It doesn't have to end like this. I'll kill her, Lee. Just let me go. Walking backwards. Oh my god, Kenny! Who the fuck do you people think you are? Look at what you've done! You brought this on yourself. No, uh-uh, you did this. All we wanted was a little gas to keep ourselves safe. Sharp fences, I remember. Oh, it's a 1v1. Carly, you better shoot him. I'm losing the one.
Bro. How much times do I have to press Q? Lily. Oh, yeah. This, this is what I want. Boom. 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 Okay. Okay, Lee. Boom. Boom. This one's for the girl's dad. Okay, I want to keep going. Started it. Don't you dare walk away from me, Lee. <clears throat> Get back here and finish this, Lee. Ah, I really want to do it. I feel like Carly is going to shoot him or the other girl. You spared. No! Okay, maybe he dies this way. Mama will kill him. Okay, he's all right. Kenny is all right. Hey, Lee. I'd say I'm sorry for leaving the motel unattended, but <coughs> now. I'm glad you showed up when you did. If you hadn't taken that shot at Andy, we might not have gotten out of there. Were they really killing people for food? <laughs> yeah, they were. That is sick. God, just. But I say oh. yeah, Clementine. Clementine, she doesn't know, right? She's not stupid, Carly. Katja managed to grab this while she was in the house. She said it was with your stuff. Yeah. I found it while I was looking for the people who shot Mark. Do you want it? Why don't you keep it? Sometimes it helps to have something you can document your thoughts on. <sighs> How are you doing? I'll be fine. I'm just not as young as I used to be. Hon, go on ahead and give me and Lee a second. There's gonna be fallout. Yeah. For killing at least dead. <coughs> yeah. I would imagine so. What do you think? We fucked up. We fucked up real good. You can't say that, man. The rest of us are alive, aren't we? Yeah, I know. I've got your back. You made the right choice, but what the hell happens now? 
Listen, that RV back at the motor inn is just about ready to roll. <coughs> I want you to come with us. I mean it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Come on, Clementine. Stay close. Lee, did you have to kill those men? I, I shouldn't have done that. They were very bad men, Clementine, but that doesn't mean I had to kill them. Why did you? I, I wasn't For plot reasons. I was angry. I was scared. But I did the wrong thing. You should never kill anybody unless you absolutely have to, okay? Okay. Hey, Dad. <laughs> what's that noise? Sounds like a car. Oh, God. Not more strangers. Oh, we got a car. Hello? Eh, eh. We just did with cannibals. Figures. Oh crap. Baby, you gotta see this. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. Oh. It's that simple, huh? <coughs> this food could save all of us. Not all of us. Look, we don't know if these people are dead. If they come back, then we're just monsters who came out of the woods and ruined their lives. This stuff isn't ours. Dad, whose car is it? Don't worry about that, Duck. It's ours now. It's abandoned, Ducky. Don't worry. What if it's not? W what if it's not abandoned? What if it is someone's? Ah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what is up with these tough decisions? <laughs> I mean... We have to take this, Clementine. We need it to survive. Who says it's your decision to make? Hey, we don't have time for this shit. Like it or not, we need this food. Now get over here and open the trunk, Lee. Damn. It's locked. No shit, I already tried that. But I heard you take the keys from up front. Get over. No. Oh. Supplies? I'll take it. More food in here. Can't just leave the rest. Great. Maybe we'll survive this after all. Duck, why don't you carry this? Okay. Got a box of food here. I'll carry it. This hoodie looks to be about your size. Why don't you hold on to this? It might get cold. It's not mine.
Well, think of it like you're holding on to it. You can give it back if we ever meet up with him, okay? Okay. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. I thought they might work in your camcorder. Here, you can have some too. For your walkie-talkie. Batteries, huh? Think you can handle those? You're not gonna let me live that down, are you? No. No, I am not. Oh, God. Lee, you're gonna wanna see this. Oh, shit. What are we looking at here? Okay. Making is done, pal. Ain't nothing left. We gotta get the hell out of here. Lee, I need you to back me up on this. Is this all you got? I told you this town is tapped. Do you have any idea what we had to do to get all that? We need to leave. Duck was asking about the farm last night. Not much phases. It's starting to add up. I need to get to the coast. Get him out of all this madness. <laughs> Lily's not doing so good, huh? But we killed her dad. We did kill her dad. Maybe people out there got things lined up better. Better than us, at least. Could be folks who have all this shit figured out. Do people get mad when they're scared? Sometimes, yeah, they do. This is crazy! I'm the one keeping this group going! We can sort this all out, all right? We can sort this out. I'll tell you what we need to sort out. We can't let one person fuck this up for everyone else! No. Ah, let's see. Did you chop his leg off? You and 44 players chopped his leg off. So we're in a minority? Interrogation. Shot Jolene. Uh, who was Jolene again? Okay. You and 61 played? How? Okay. So we didn't shoot her. Help. 49%. So we're in the minority there too. Help. Kenny, kill Larry. 61. You and didn't kill both brothers. Hmm. Stole food from the car. 51. Okay. So weird. Come on. Got it. Come on. Oh my goodness. Please, please, please. I just want to press the back button. That's all. All right. As if I plug in my controller. Can I press the back button then? Hmm. 
Sí. This is a PlayStation controller. There is no B. All right, that's cool. Are we are we seriously doing this? Come on, please, please. All right. Thank you all for watching, and uh, I'll do the other episode some other day. Maybe Thursday, maybe.